Hi there everybody, on today's video I have this uh, C180 compressor This is a 2008 w W204 chassis And uh, basically it's developed a problem where the cooling um, fan comes on a few seconds after you start the car and it's constantly running, it's really loud um, on checking of the fault codes um, the fault codes that I'm getting basically are ok, let's have a look at the fault codes here that's one of the fault codes there that says um, the refrigerant pressure sensor has a malfunction short to positive um, when checking the pressure is uh, showing me basically no pressure I've compared it this is this data here is from another W204 I happen to have on the day um, which reads a uh, refrigerant pressure of 5.18 bars um, the other car I didn't I didn't record it but it was reading um, no no pressure sensor detected or short circuit to positive I'm just going to show you what the car is doing So it's uh, just running as uh, normal at the moment and uh, in a few seconds the fan will come on ok the fan is coming on now you can probably hear it um, also the air conditioning is not working um, and uh, I, had it, I had it checked and uh, just to make sure that all the gas is out to tackle the job of changing the sensor so just looking at some of the readings um, from the computer here it's showing me that the refrigerant pressure is 6550 bar um, seems a little bit uh, high that's why I get the full code um, that I was getting this phone code here refrigerant pressure sensor and also the fan is running really loud obviously um, but looking at the readings from the other car so these were the readings from the other car which is exactly the same as this one and the refrigerant pressure is 5.18 bars so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the sensor and then uh, we'll have a look at these uh, readings again. Okay, so I've got the car up. Um, I'm going to be changing the sensor on this car um, and see how we get on with that. But. Um, this particular issue of the fan coming on um, can be other other uh, problems as well, um, possibly related to ECU and and so on. Um, I'm tackling it because the fact that um, on the uh, scanner, on the scanner, I, I didn't have readings for the pressure sensor, so I'm gonna um, take this pressure sensor out and replace it so I'm gonna tackle it from underneath the car I'm gonna remove 
this cover here and it should be sitting somewhere here where the condenser is um, so make sure if you're gonna tackle this job that uh, all the refrigerant has been emptied by a professional company or uh, somebody that has the knowledge of and the machines to remove that uh, refrigerant, refrigerant or gas You may notice that it's become pretty much a routine for me to wear a mask and some glasses now, but um, if you're doing this particular job, then you should wear uh, some protection for your eyes and hands. Okay, so once we uh, remove that cover, we just want to open this little flap here that's covering that area there. Now, uh, there's two type of, two kind of clips holding this, uh, this bit up there. So just want to open them like sideways and then let this down. Same on this end. So it's two of them. I already opened them. And just open this. Um, this here is the sensor that we are looking for. This also is plugged into here. So you just need to unplug it basically I'll also just going to unplug this sensor can undo it. And now that's a slightly, it's pretty large. Okay, so I'm just gonna use one of these to undo it and uh, there might be some pressure in the system from uh, just some air pressure basically that might escape So there is a little bit of pressure there, just uh But that isn't uh, the actual refrigerant. It's just the gas that is, is in the, it's just the uh, pressure that remains in the system. Um, as you drive the car, it builds a little bit of pressure, basically. Um, so that's the sensor there. So, gonna get a new one, and then go ahead and change that. Okay, so this here is my new sensor. That's the part number there, A21100023. I got this uh, from Mercedes and 
it was about 50 pounds I think so that's what we're going to be replacing with the sensor you will get a new little o-ring it looks uh, it's the green o-ring there just put a little bit of grease on it to make it go in and sit in there nicely so the system will need to be recharged after this with uh, coolant and for that I will take it to the specialist that does it for me okay we can just plug this in now Just make sure it goes all the way in and it clicks into place. Okay, so now I'm gonna lower the car and uh, check those values. Um, sometimes the refrigerant, if there is no refrigerant, um, you you can get that fan issue but um well, that shouldn't be the case really so um we'll give that a check now okay so i got the car down now um i just access the menu here i'm going to start the car Now we're going to access the air conditioning and just check those values again. Um, Okay, so the refrigerant pressure now is uh, is changed to zero bar, um, and the fan is not running like mad actually. Uh, I've just noticed that. Uh, obviously, I this would be zero if there is no um, refrigerant, so there's no uh, pressure as such, but. But that sounds like uh, good news because the actual the actual um, fan is not blowing like mad. Okay, so um, refrigerant pressure is too low. Which is um, expected as there is no refrigerant at the moment. Um, but we're not getting the the full code from before, the refrigerant pressure sensor. So, um, so I think this was uh, successful because uh, the fan is no longer running 
like crazy, as you can probably hear already. Um, so anyway, I hope this video helps. Um, I'm just gonna top this up, get it topped up with a Kunan now. And, and that's it. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.